So in this video, folks, uh, I want to talk to you about being out of your zone. When you're out of your zone, the best thing you should do is obviously keep a, a background app going so that if you're out of zone, especially if you're kind of far out of your zone, you have a chance to get another order on something Make else. Make a right turn. Now, with that said, it depends. It depends on um, what right app turn. you're using. So I keep Uber in the background, and I, I don't really like Uber Eats, but occasionally, yes, they'll come through with something that's decent. So this is one of these cases. Just ahead, make a right turn on Fortune Boulevard. I am on a, a delivery that's, you know, $9.30. It could be higher than $9.30. I, I, I'm figuring it might be a few more dollars, maybe a couple more, but make a that's right not turn why on I did Fortune it. Boulevard. I did it because it was only three miles, going three miles, right, total. And uh, it's better than just doing dead miles back. Uh, but the order, the last order that I picked up for DoorDash was a 20, it ended up being $23 for 10 miles. So while I'm in this area, of course, I'm going to try to pick up with another app. Now I could put point pickup on, I could put, I could put Spock on if I wanted, but I, Spock sucks, so I don't use it. Um, there's, you know, several other apps, Instacart and all that, but I, I very rarely take an Instacart. In, in this case, it's a Sunday, so it's busy. I know right now at 6 o'clock, especially because things are getting sort of back to normal and the kids are back to school, and the colleges are all back. And that's in one mile, make a right turn on what, Purchase Street. What's good about it is a lot of the college kids that were dashing are not dashing anymore because they had to go away back to school. So they were home a lot for the summer. Um, but it also is going to bring in a whole new breed of people, and obviously a lot of these companies are hiring big time. I wanted to just tell you that the store that I came from, that, I'm pick, that I picked up from on this delivery, it was TGI Fridays. I don't know if you guys or gals have that out where you are out west or in the Midwest, but on the East Coast we have a, a store that's similar to like Chili's, but it's... It's all kinds of different things. It has a bar. It's, you know, it's a corporate thing. TGI F Fridays. You've all seen that commercial on TV. I was shocked to see the wait staff that they had in there. They had three young girls or whatever that looked sort of inexperienced. One that looked experienced and then one main server. So that's four. And then I saw one cook. Now this place was not very busy but it wasn't there was a lot there was quarter to half the people of the capacity that were in there and I'm thinking to myself oh man and now when I walked in I saw two two people waiting to get orders or sit down and eat I just got lucky because my order was already probably done because she said I just have to bag it and so I said yeah that's fine but I saw a total of five people that place with the capacity they have should have had at least 15 people in there. So a lot of the college kids have quit these jobs, and now these, these places are struggling. Expect to sit in uh, long lines, folks, out in the, the drive throughs for, like, these fast food places. That's why I try to stay away from fast food, if, if you can, because you're going to sit in lines. So keep that in mind. Anyways... That's all I got for you for this video. Just wanted to mention that. Hope this helps someone. And I'll see you guys and gals on the next one. Take care.